Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. We are going to take this poem today, students, and we're going to add some body percussion to it. We're also going to add some instruments to it. And then I've got a short game that you can play with it. So let's move on. Step one, body percussion. Red words get a clap. Black quarter rest get a snap. And then your bottom words, purple words, are stops. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and your feet. And so are you. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. Let's try words, no words, and then words are back. That's where we'll start. Here we go. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. No words. Words. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. Step three is not body percussion, but actual percussion. I just found an old can. Uh, you need three different levels. So I have one sound on top. I have one sound in the middle. And I'm going to use the floor as my third sound. So this could work on a bowl or a um, carton that had food in it, probably not with food in it, an empty one. So dig around your house, see what you can find. You don't have to have drumsticks. You could always just use uh, pencils, markers, forks, whatever you can find. But try to find something that will give you three different sounds. The floor is always a welcome choice. But if you want to use a different thing to hit to get three sounds, that works too. If we were doing this in my classroom, we would have woods, metals, and skins. So if you can come up with instruments that would make that sound, that would work. So let's take red words that used to be clapping, and let's do that with sound one. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. That metal sound, or your second sound, we're going to put that where the snap used to be. So now we have roses are red, Violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. And then the last one, and so are you. That's where my feet were at the end. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. So here's the whole thing together. Roses are No words. Words. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. The final piece of Roses Are Red is the game. So you need to pick somewhere in your house that's kind of home base. I picked this yellow circle in the music room over here at Manor Hill. So your job is to take roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, that's 12 beats, to get as far away from bass as you can with being able to get back, and so are you in four. So it's 12 beats versus four beats. Those last four beats are gonna be pretty fast. Now, Mr. Stringer is very, very pregnant, so I will go as far as you. <laughs> but I know you fourth and fifth grade, you'll be able to go pretty far in your house before you get back. So I'll show you how it works. I'm on base right now to start. I have 12 beats to walk away. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. 
is all the time I have to get back. And so, oh, are you? Oh, I'm late, but I'm also 38 weeks pregnant. You'll forgive me. So try it again. See if you can get farther this time. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Sugar is sweet. And so are you. Challenge yourself. Challenge your uh, family or friends that are in your house with you. See how far away from base you can get and still make it back in those last four beats. I'll give you words so you can try it without me. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet. Go, and so are you. I hope you made it.